I'm Bob McElligot. Right now I'm joined by Jody Shelley to get his take on this game tonight. And, Jody, is this game simply a story of one team that came out really hungry, that had something to prove, and another team that just wasn't on the right footing to start this game? I don't know about that. I, I just think the Blue Jackets gave Tampa, who was a team that was desperately looking to score goals, too many free opportunities early in this game. Odd man rushes on Jonas Corposalo, who really didn't have his footing. Then he faced a power play where Stamco slipped one by him. They're down 2 nothing right away. Yanni Gord gets four assists. That line of Yanni Gord with Coleman and Goudreau picked up 10 points here tonight. Those guys were effective all night on the forecheck. The Blue Jackets had Felino. His line paired up against Stamkos, who left this game due to injury, and that Stamkos line didn't get much done. Braden Point didn't even get it on the board there. So the Blue Jackets kept the right people off the board. They stuck with their game plan, but Vasilevsky would not let the Blue Jackets get in and gain momentum. There was times when it looked like they were going to break through and catch up that goal and get within three. They gave up three goals too early, and once you're chasing the game, if you're a defensive-minded team like the Blue Jackets are, they played that way last game and got the win, if when you're defensive-minded and you have the lead, it's a different game. When you're defensive-minded and you have to open up, it's a struggle, especially against Tampa. They didn't get the big save at the big moment. They were chasing it all night long and just couldn't get back. You know, this morning when we did the rink report, I almost said to you that line of Yanni Gord and Barclay Goudreau and Blake Coleman, they ate up the Blue Jackets in the playoffs a couple of months ago. And until tonight, the Blue Jackets had controlled them. I almost asked you how have they controlled them, but – I'm glad I didn't because they didn't today. You mentioned they were terrific. What did they change, if anything, to have that success? Well, David Savard wasn't on the ice. Let's not shy away from that. That's a big, healthy scratch for this team. A trade probably is imminent, so that, I think, is a relief for these guys. Also, listen, Boone Jenner and Riley Nash are two key centermen that do a lot of dirty details behind the play, and they can match up against other players and now allow Felino or someone else to play against this line. They found uh, transition in the neutral zone. They were good from low to high. They set up Ryan McDonough for two goals. So they found the open man. They did a really good job on the forecheck, and that gave the Blue Jackets too much in their own end. All right, Jody, thank you very much. Appreciate it.